myself professor lau patel from lg institute of engineering and technology automobile engineering department so we are in continue with subject vehicle dynamics and also we have discussed in our previous lecture about steering system how steering system is going to work which are the different types of steering systems are there there are number of gear boxes steering gear boxes that we are used and number of links that we are uh, that we are we have already used for our steering system so in today's lecture we will see about the main steering geometry like there are several types of geometries or number of parameters that we have to consider to design our steering system so for that we will see our first topic that is about steering geometry the second one is the steering system forces and moments there are number of forces and moments uh, on uh, acting on my steering system so that we have to consider uh, our several axis system like x axis y axis and z axis and according to that we have to check our steering system forces and moments and the third one is the articulated steering so it is one uh, special type of steering that we will used in our articulated vehicle for better performance of that articular articulated vehicle so let us begin with the first topic that is about steering geometry so for that we have to see several parameters or several functions that we have to consider in our mind while designing our steering geometry so for that let us see several topics regarding camber angle second one is the caster angle third is the toe in and toe out and the fourth one is kpi and sai so these are the four topics that we will cover in our main chapter that is main topic that is steering geometry so let us consider first camber angle so for that i have to face my vehicle from the front direction in which i have to check my front tires wheel axis that shown in green color and another road normal axis that shows in yellow color so the angle between wheel axis and road normal axis that is called my camber so for that camber i have to check whether my camber is positive negative or zero camber so in previously you can see that the positive camber is there this is zero camber and the last one is the negative camber so for our light motor vehicles or trucks we will prefer positive camber angle for better performance of our steering uh, geometry so for that camber angle is the first point second one is the caster angle so for caster angle we will we have to see our vehicle from the side for that we have road normal axis that is shown in yellow color and steering axis that is in green color so the angle between the road normal axis and steering axis that is called my positive caster angle so again same as camber uh, here three types of caster angle is there positive caster that is normally in our car motorcycle and uh, cycles the negative caster is there and zero caster is there the third topic that is about toe in and toe out so for that i have to see my car from the top view and for that i have to check my front tires uh, distance from uh, first from the front and rear of that individual tire so if the distance from uh, front tire and the uh, front portion of the front tire and the rear portion of the front tire that is in difference so from that we can see that the toe in angle and the toe out angle next is the steering axis inclination sai and kingpin inclination kpi so what do you mean by sai and kpi for that front tire has been taken one point we have selected at which the tires are going to rotate from left to left direction or right direction now several terms we have to consider like for the front wheels we will have normal steering axis that shown in yellow color while green color you will find wheel axis and the difference between that you will find certain amount of distance right so that is my radius or the distance between the steering axis and wheel axis so according to the wheel axis and the steering axis angle the that radius is going to change or that distance is going to change and according to that distance i will find my kpi like kingpin inclination angle 
so for that here you can see that from the diagram kpi has shown at angle between steering axis and wheel axis so here you can see that the kpi for particular vehicle moving further we have next steering system forces and moments so in which we you have to see this diagram see already we have learned this kind of diagram in our previous uh, chapter that is about tire so according to that tire axis geometry you can similarly find the forces and moments acting on my steering system from that so for that i have my x axis y axis and z axis several angles like alpha angle gamma angle is there so the number of forces and moments imposed on the steering system that emanate from those generated and tire road interface so according to that tire road interface we will find several forces and moments next is the ground reactions on the tire are described by three forces and moments so according to that we will find several forces and moments like normal force is there tractive force is there lateral force is there also aligning torque rolling resistance moment and overturning moment as well so these are the number of forces and moments that are going to affect my overall steering performance so this is all about the second topic that is my steering system forces and moments and the third and the last one is my articulated steering so for articulated steering we have an articulated vehicle which are very large and very difficult to turn to left or in right to turn in left or in right direction so for that we have to uh, develop such kind of steering system that my overall vehicle can easily perform a and perform a task for turning so for that articulated steering has been developed for that uh, we have a video of volvo truck in which they have developed such kind of articulated steering system in which you can see that the truck is there which is very large and very bulky so according to that steering mechanism my overall vehicle has to turn in such a way that it cannot find any difficulty or or any roll over condition so for that such kind of steering mechanism has been developed like if i have to turn from my steering wheel that mechanism is not uh, on my front wheels so that we uh, that mechanism is not developed on my wheels so for that i have such amount uh, such mechanical devices that are going to use that can uh, easily perform that articulated vehicle so for that if i am going to change uh, the direction of the truck so i have to simply turn my steering system and according to that steering system it directly affect my articulated point that is a pivot pivot point from first part and the second part and according to that my vehicle is going to perform so here one comparison is shown like volvo truck and other trucks are there so for such kind of articulated steering system you will find very steady run, uh, driven steady driven truck has been developed while in other trucks you will find very bulky steering and uh, difficult to turn at a certain angle so we have learned such topics in steering system thank you